Welcome to today's take. I'm Liu Kun. U.S. allies have a long list of expectations from the Biden presidency in terms of foreign policy, such as restoring forsaken security partnerships, returning to multinational agreements such as the JCPOA and Paris Climate Deal, and re-engaging with China. At a recent event at the United States Institute of Peace, Joe Biden's national security advisor Jake Sullivan said, "The most profound national security challenge facing the United States is getting our own house in order." He is right. If the U.S. is unable to become stronger at home, it won't be able to return to global leadership as Biden has promised, making that long list of expectations just wishful thinking. For a long time, foreign policy has been considered by average Americans as a game for the elite and by the elite. While the Washington foreign policy establishment view America's strong presence abroad, sometimes willingness and capability to use force as essential for the country's primacy all over the world, as well as for domestic safety and stability, the American middle class are moving past this ideal. In a country where every day the rich become richer and the bulk of middle class salaries are dropping, there are far more important issues than U.S. involvement in Middle Eastern affairs. Paychecks, rent, electricity bills, healthcare. These are what matter to the American middle class. Donald Trump's victory in 2016 and the small margin between him and Biden in the 2020 popular vote, with his "America First" policy, is a testimony to how little appetite average American voters have for endless investment of resources abroad. The COVID-19 pandemic still raging in the country has introduced new challenges for Biden's foreign policy team. This is a country still grieving for more than 400,000 lives lost in just under a year. Also, 2020 saw polarization, misinformation, and cynicism running rampant in the country. Distrust in the system and government have become more popular. On top of that is the economic woe. The latest projection from the International Monetary Fund points to a minus 3.4 percent growth rate for the U.S. in 2020, reflecting an economy deeply wounded by COVID-19. If Biden cannot get the pandemic under control and the economy running, talking about a political basis and economic capability for foreign policy is just a non-starter. The more troubling and far-reaching issue U.S. foreign policymakers should worry about is the presence of Trumpism now and in the future. Its isolationism, unilateralism, and nationalism challenge the very core of international rules and norms established in the process of globalization. For the world, Trumpism and the extreme polarization in America, together with the once every four years cycle of American politics, test the real buy-in of American foreign policy from the international community. America is currently unstable in terms of determining its own beliefs, and other countries cannot just wait for it to decide. The world must move on. The Carnegie Endowment for International Peace published a report last September on how U.S. foreign policy should be made to work better for the American middle class. Jake Sullivan was among its authors. Biden's foreign policy team clearly recognizes the urgency of the issue now, making the next question of how a real test for them.